no amps were used in the making of this video. Hi, and welcome to PJ and the Beard. This is kind of more of a vlog style video because what happened is as I was getting into a pedal and trying to get to know that pedal a little bit, uh, I kind of got in deep and I thought maybe just would share that experience because it maybe makes more sense. And so when New X sent us the Rock Tree pedal for that Leslie Sound series we're doing, uh, they also sent along a pedal called the Mini Studio. And so this is a little out of our comfort zone and I started playing around with it a little bit. And so that's what I'm gonna share with you. Uh, the Mini Studio is a cool pedal. It has eight built-in speaker cabinet models. So it models the Roland Jazz 120, the Fender Deluxe Reverb, the Fender Bassman 410, the Vox AC30 212, uh, a Fender Twin Reverb 212, a Marshall 1960A 412, a Celestian Greenback 412, and a Celestian Vintage 30 412 cabinet. And so uh, playing around with that pedal a little bit, either through headphones and then plugging it straight into my computer through um, going through the pedal board, right? So from guitar to a pedal board into the Nux, the new X uh, studio, mini studio straight into the focus, right? In the garage band, starting to experiment with that a little bit. I wanted to show you what that looks like. So let's take a look at the setup and then we'll get into kind of the sounds that it makes. All right, so this is kind of what I have set up. Um, the Moor Soul Shiver here uh, is a pedal that Moor sent out to us that we're trying to get ready. So I was kind of fooling around with that to figure out how that works. And then at the end of this little pedal board, I put on the Mini Studio. Um, so the Mini Studio has a level and a space knob and then these eight different cabinet simulators, speaker cabinet simulators. The space knob, uh, the further up you go, the bigger the room gets. So. Uh, if you turn it down, you're making your room size smaller, you turn it up, making your room size bigger. And then on this little pedal board, uh, the bone tenor isn't actually even plugged in, so we're just kind of going straight through that into the Boss TU, the trusty TU2 tuner. That newer Soul Shiver I mentioned, the Analog King of Tone, and then this Dispatch Master, because but a great versatile pedal uh, if you want to get a little delay and a little reverb in there. So I'm gonna switch over to the computer and show you kind of what I was playing around with. Okay, so here we are at the New X Mini Studio page. Uh, so the Mini Studio is a speaker cabinet simulator, an IR loader, so an impulse response loader. And I'll be honest, we know little to nothing about impulse responses, right? So that makes this kind of interesting. If we scroll down through the page, there's a lot of great information here and you certainly can come out and look at that. Uh, talks about the eight cabinets that we talked about earlier. Talks about loading your favorite IRs into the into the mini studio. Uh, the thing that kind of jumped out at me when I was looking at it was this right here: the ability to take your guitar, run it straight into your pedal board, straight into the mini studio, and then into an audio interface. And we're using a Focusrite audio interface for that, and we're going straight into iTunes. So that's really what we're going to kind of look at. And so I've already started playing with this a little bit. And in my journey and playing with that led to this kind of, I don't know, vlogish uh, episode. And so what I'm hoping is after I kind of run through and show you this, I can pause, wait for Pat to come over and then have him lay down a couple tracks as well. So you can, and maybe use some different uh, speaker cabinets and uh, some different pedals and stuff. What I did was lay down three tracks. First track used the Moor Soul Shiver, because we're trying to figure that pedal out, uh, to put a little bit of a Leslie sound on, and that went right into the Mini Studio pedal on setting number one, which is the Roland Jazz 120, and that would sound a little bit like... And you're actually hearing that through the microphone, my spe coming out my speakers through the microphone, I'll put a track at the end that plays it right out of GarageBand. All right, so the second track went into the King of Tone, uh, from the King of Tone into the Mini Studio, and was just kind of a little background riffage kind of thing for that. And it sounds like this. I think I recorded that drive, but put a little bit of reverb on it in GarageBand. And then the final track was the solo track. Uh, on that last track, it went into here and was coming, we were using, I was using setting two, uh, the Deluxe Reverb 112. On this track, I'm using setting three, which is the Basement 410 with the King of Tone and the Dispatch Master from Earthquake, Earthquaker Devices for a little bit of a uh, delay and reverb. And that sounds like... <laughs> So 
So after this, you're going to get, you know, what the three sound like together coming out of iTunes, being exported out of iTunes. And then we're going to ambush Pat and have Pat record three tracks. So stay tuned and check that out. <laughs> So Pat came over and we laid down a couple tracks. I thought I'd run you through really quick, just like I did with mine, what we laid down, what we used. So there's three tracks that Pat laid down. The first track he laid down uh, is a rhythm track. And on the rhythm track, he basically ran straight into the Freedman. Well, first of all, let's take a look at the pedal board that he used. <laughs> this is the pedal board. So this is the setup that Pat's using. We have the TU2 chromatic tween her as always running into the new x rotary the uh, rotary and poly octave pedal which we did an episode on that new x sent to us when they sent us this mini studio uh he used the friedman b-e-o-d for the rhythm track and then the new x was used for kind of the organish track uh the valve reaver on the the lead track and the dispatch master up here for some delay or reverb uh, all delay, I think, this time. And then the menu studio. So on the first track, he ran straight into the Friedman BEOD. There was no other pedal being used, and that went into the mini studio. And in the mini studio, we had it set on the 1960 Marshall 412 uh, for that track. And that sounds a little bit something like this. <laughs> That he laid down. He laid down more of an organish kind of track. And since New X was kind enough to send us the mini studio, we also grabbed the New X uh, Rocktree pedal. And he, we turned on the octaves and turned on the Leslie simulator. And he laid down this organ track with that. And so we are running straight into that, no other pedal, and then into the mini studio again. And on this one, we used the uh, Fender Reverb, Fender Twin 212 uh, with the New X studio. And that sounds a little bit like this. And then for the final track, uh, Pat laid down a solo track, and that would be actually track one here on the screen, what we're looking at. And that track, he went into a love pedal valve reamer uh, from that into the Earthquaker Devices uh, delay pedal. And then that went into, again, the mini studio. And we had the cab simulator that we used for that one was, again, the Marshall 1960. And I think it's pretty interesting that he landed on that twice because we were really just, uh, he would start dialing in the sound with the pedals and rotating through this till we found one that he liked with that. So that sounds a little bit like this. Okay, so now that we've heard the three different tracks, it's time to kind of put them all together. And so with minimal mixing, we didn't add anything down here in the effects control units or any EQ or anything like that. Like I said, uh, at some point in this video, kind of novices at the whole recording thing, but this kind of makes it interesting, right? So um, this is what it sounds like all put together.
Pat's tracks. So Pat came over, kind of ambushed him. We recorded outside. This is kind of totally different than anything we've ever done. Uh, using this little mini studio pedal that we've been talking about. And interestingly, as we scrolled through and you were looking for tones, twice. <laughs> like, I wasn't telling him what it was. I was just, like, changing the knob. It's like being a die doctor. One or two or three. Right. One, two or three. And twice you ended on the Marshall 412. Uh, when you did the organ, the rock tree stuff, we mm-hmm. ended on, um, I think we used the Fender Twin for that. So the whole point of this, for two guys that don't know a whole lot about IRs and false responses and running direct into the computer or even recording, right? Right. I mean, like, we're not kind of, it's not something we've done, um, was, is there any use for this, I guess? So they sent it to us, so let's see if there's any use. One thing I really loved about it was plugging the headphones into it. Um, plugging my pedal board into it, setting on the end of my pedal board, plugging my headphones in, it sounded great. And that got me to take it and plug it into iTunes. Um, and I thought the tones in iTunes were pretty good. Yeah, we liked them. I mean, we have some Logitech you know, desktop monitors. We're not like studio quality monitors, but... Definitely, we dialed up something that we liked well enough that we're like, okay, let's keep it. <laughs> right. I mean, for just sitting around having fun, it was a fun pedal to play with. Uh, if you're doing stuff and you want to play through your pedal board at night mm. with a pair of headphones, or if you just want to record some stuff for fun in iTunes and GarageBand or whatever, uh, I definitely see use for it. And, you know, thank you. I, I shout out to Nux, you know, like... Yeah. Send us a pedal that we didn't know we wanted, right? So that's pretty cool. Yeah, when we sell a pedal, we put a sticker and a pick in it. They sent another pedal. <laughs> right. So that's really, it was really cool of them to send that out. Um, and I'm glad they did. And I think, yeah, definitely something to check out. Uh, so we'll, we'll end with this in the comments because we don't know what we're doing, right? And I'm sure that some of you that watch us will probably be more than happy to tell us that we don't know what we're doing. So. <laughs> In the comments, like, all right, so we have this impulse response uh, speaker emulator. Should we have been running some kind of amp in the box in front of it? Should we have had, like, the Joyo, uh, what are the, the American Sound pedals or the, or, you know, like, just, you, you, you know better than I do what I'm talking about, probably. Um, so what should we do? Like, what should we try next with this pedal? Uh, if you could leave us some comments about that and give us some direction, we'd really appreciate it. And... When you're done doing that, if you can click subscribe, uh, click the like button, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, we post stuff there too. Uh, that would be great. And I think with that... I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear.